Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and today we're going to show you how to put stars in a skybox and more. And so let me just start the whole presentation here. A skybox is a simple device. It's just a large, low polygon cube that you put six panoramic images on, one for each side of the cube. Putting particles in a skybox really makes it fun. And if you go to Paper Vision's uh, particle material class, you only find two particular particles. That's a circle and a square. And of course we want to extend that. So I added a bunch. I added a star, burst, wedge, gears, and polys. So in this presentation I actually put uh, uh, three types of particles. I have a burst right here. And I have a, a star. You can see one in the background there. And one will float by here in a moment. And I have basically the circle. So there they are. And so that really adds a lot more dimension to it. So what I'm going to do in this presentation is basically go through how this was created. Um, there is a YouTube video, which we're doing right now. There's a demo. You can check the demo out at www.professionalpapervision.com forward slash demos forward slash web forward slash sky box stars. The source code is on Google Code at Flex3 Cookbook 1 downloads list. Next, we have the book blog, which shows the switch case code at uh, professionalpapervision.wordpress.com. Let's go there real quick. We're on the books blog right now. And if you scroll down here, the whole article is here. There's my little sky box. You click on that and the program will run. You can actually see a demo. Go down a little lower, you uh, have some of the information we've been talking about here and some of the modifications that were made to the code we'll talk about later. But if you click on the more, then comes up the switch case code, which I built to get these different particles into paper vision. So I actually went and modified the uh, paper vision uh, material class and added all this code so uh, it'll give you these additional particles. Of course, during the course of the book, we'll be doing that throughout the whole uh, chapter series is modifying and changing and updating uh, the paper vision code. So let me give you a little bit of background here. Recently, uh, Seb Lee Delise did a skybox example in his presentation on paper vision 3D simplified. It was a great presentation. Now I downloaded the source code, which he uh, gives for free on his website, and it didn't work. And that wasn't surprising because I'm probably running a newer version of Paper Vision than he was. So I rewrote it and I added a few new things. And here's the new features that I added to his code. The planets now return when the cube gets too far away. I added to the particle class. It now includes more than just square and circle particles. It has star, burst, wedges, gears, and polys. I got rid of the else statements in the uh, material class. And I added a switch case. Of course, you want that instead. And then I added... Uh, uh, multiple type planets to the sky box. You know, you, you know the planets I'd created. And I only have three that are showing up, but you can add more. I put uh, stars, circles, and burst. Um, you can go to uh, Seb's website and you can download the source code and watch the great video that he presentation that he delivers. And uh, here's a website for that: www.sebdelise.com. Uh, it's uh, 263. And also, uh, Seb's doing a run for cancer, and I want to encourage you to go. And if you use my stuff or his stuff, go ahead and and um, you can find that at www.sebdelise.com. That's P274. Just click on this link or type this link into your browser, and uh, you can uh, go and donate. And I, I donated it, and it's, it's a great cause. So make sure you do that. And so let me just talk a little bit about the code and uh, what it looks like. Now, if you go to the Paper Vision book blog, I, I've actually posted the, uh, the source code for the uh, particle material uh, switch case. But, you know, if you just download the source code, you can just go to... Uh, particle material and click on that and you can get the source code from there as well. So you don't necessarily have to go to the book blog either. So let's go ahead and open up Flex and let's take a look at uh, what was done. Alright, we have the project opened up in Flex Builder and uh, the most important thing about a great skybox of course is great skybox images and Seb actually provides uh, six great images and we'll be creating some more in the future and show you how to do that. Uh, but for now we use his so if you download some Google code you'll be seeing his images. And let's take a look at the code right now. It is a, it is a package in Flex, and of course you see those import statements that we're all familiar with. Here's the uh, public class, skybox, and stars with all the uh, properties. And below that, we uh, have the embed. So we want to embed all those images, so you have to wait a million years for those to load in. They, they're immediately ready as soon as the entire program uh, loads. And beyond the embed statements, we have the typical decorations that you find for paper vision, the viewport, the camera, the renderer and all of those other things and then we create the material class and from the material class we're going to have a front left back top right bottom just like the typical cube that you would load now 
there is a difference between skybox cubes and regular cubes in paper vision. Uh, but that difference is not very much. A skybox cube really is just a low polygon cube. So just go ahead and take a cube and, and give it segments of four, four, four. And that's pretty much equivalent to what you might see in a way 3D where you have a skybox that's pre-programmed. But <laughs> not much difference. It's doing the same thing. It's got four points and then, it, or excuse me, it has eight points and then it's quadum, you know, segment them. So uh, not much difference there. No reason to write a whole new uh, skybox class. And then what we do, we actually just come along here and we throw that... Uh, material, those six sides, onto the cube, and we give it a skybox name, a stand shade is skybox, and we add that to the scene. And then we adjust our cameras, so they're all uh, right, and that's just kind of a little bit of playing around, trial and error. And you have your event loop here where you're going to loop through uh, the uh, renderer. Now, in the render scene, this is where everything is kind of happening. Now, the difference between this and Seb's code is that the camera was following the skybox. In this instance, the skybox is following the camera. And also we have the rotation angles here to set everything right. And then we have right here in this particular code when uh, the stars get beyond 1500, we pull them back using the tweener command. So that's pretty much all there is. The only other thing that we do that's important is we have the ability to declare more than one type of particle. So you see here I've got the particle material and I go a little bit beyond that. And I, in this case I have a circle I'm bringing in, I'm having a star I'm bringing in, I'm having a shape I'm bringing in. Now how do I find that? I, in Flex it's really easy. I just hold down the uh, control key and you see there's a little highlight there. I click on that and that takes me directly to the code where all that is. And here's the class that I rewrote. This is the materials class. We're going to look at the old class and the new class. And the, in the new class you can see I've added all these different uh, shapes. I have a switch case as opposed to the else if. Previously there were only two possibilities, a square and a circle. And I just you know put all the different code in that required to, to draw a star, a gear, a wedge, a poly, and a burst. So this was a really easy class to update. They're not all that easy, but this one was. And so I went ahead and just threw it in and, and threw it out to the community for free. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the previous code, and then we'll show you how that differs. So let's take a look at uh, the paper materials class before it was modified. So the way you find that is you go to org, go to paper vision, go to materials, go to special, and there's your materials or particle material class. Double click on that. And the class is actually fairly simple. It has the import statements. And it basically just declares a shape of a square and circle. And below that you pretty much just have a else if statement. So if the shape is equal to a square, then run the square and if the shape is equal to a circle run the draw circle and from that point all I had to do is basically get rid of these if and else statements and put in the switch case that you saw previously and uh, it worked really well so this was a really super simple class to modify one of the purposes of the book of course is kind of to demystify uh, paper vision. Paper vision is really easy it's the code's been set up really uh, well and uh, it's if you need something you don't necessarily have to wait for someone else to develop it you can develop it yourself so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial um, once again uh, we'll be releasing a lot of code during the writing of the book and uh, thank you so much this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University